Hello everybody. Today I would like to show my workflow from Modo to Unreal Engine 4 and I would like to bring out this model. I will first make a low poly version of it and export it then with the materials. You see we have three different materials here, rubber, body and lens. And uh, I'm not saying this is the perfect method, but it's uh, something which works for me. Uh, before I for forget it, you must start Modo as administrator, otherwise the baking UI does not save the files it creates. Okay, so let's go to the item list and to this empty mesh. And first I select um, the pen tool in lines mode and start drawing out the silhouette here from here to here. To here, up to here and to here. Okay, next let's uh, make sure that this is in the middle, which it isn't. So basic center selected on Z. Now it is in the middle. Now we can go to deform, uh, sorry, duplicate radial sweep and the flashlight by the way, is available in the mesh presets which come with Modo, so I didn't do this myself. Um, if we look at the outside here, L key, then we see we have 20 polygons going around. So I will use 20 also, but if you really want to go very low poly, then you can do it with 10. It also works, but it looks a bit blocky. Okay. So before I can radial sweep this, I must make sure, we go to this side, that these vertices here are aligned. So go to vertex, align, uniform is good. Now select this and go to duplicate radial sweep count of 20 around X and apply F to flip and now we can close this P3 B for bevel and bevel it in to here, shift click and on the blue handle to about here. Good. Do the same on the back. P and then I know from experience these edges here which are in a 90 degree angle they can be a problem. So to mitigate this, I bevel them with the round level of zero, just a little. And that's it. Now we can uh, do the rest. So I go to the side view again, select these edges here, R key, flatten them, W, bring them down to about here. Do the same here, R key, flatten, W, bring them down to here and once more here, R key, flatten, W. That is just my uh, way of doing low poly models. There are other ways, of course, you can take the high poly and delete edges which are not needed. But I think 
if there is uh, certain areas which uh, will be in focus I try to bring the low poly geometry as close to the high poly as possible. So here is the same old Z count of two. Let's make this a bit smaller. Then I select these polygons here. Perspective, R key and bring them out a bit to mimic this area here which is a kind of hilly. Okay, our low poly model is done. Now I give it a meaningful name like LP flashlight and copy this and give it the material control V which is also LP flashlight now I can uh, select this new material and last time we used the rounded edge shader you can still use it if you if you feel you want to I will leave it at zero but what I want to change now is the smoothing angle the smoothing angle simulates that we have more geometry than we actually have it doesn't add anything I would like to show you at around 90 degrees it changes as you can see here and it stays like this till about 270 degrees and that's why people say the ideal smoothing angle for a model like this is 180 degrees which is exactly the middle between 270 and 90. There is a good uh, smoothing angle tutorial on YouTube or on Vimeo, I'm not sure, just search for Modo and smoothing angle and you will find it. Anyway, we are done here and we can now build our UV maps. So I go to UV edit, uh, go to edit UVs and delete UVs. Then I select this ring here, so L key, shift select the lens and shift select the back of it and go to UV protection tool planar along X axis and click in here and H to hide this. Now we can go to uh, the bottom here. I select these edges and then we can use the unwrap tool. I start with uh, iteration of maybe 20 and click in here and drag this out till we get something we are happy with like this now since modo 901 there is a wonderful new uh, function it's called a rectangle so i select this rectangle let's say i want to have uniform x spans and click and it does all this thing for me this one i will rotate it a bit so it's not ambiguous so rectangle again but this time on the y spans and okay now we can unhide everything and pack uvs with uh, the defaults okay and our uvs are done now maybe you remember from the previous video we need two so yeah i have map one and make a new map so map two which is for the lighting in unreal engine so i can copy this and paste it into here and now we have two which are identical okay now this is done the next is 
I go to item mode, then edit, center to bounding box bottom. This is again when we import it to Unreal that it does not sink in the floor. And now we can start baking this. So I start the baking UI and first I want to make the diffuse color. Then the target is my low poly flashlight. The source is my flashlight. That's all okay, okay. And that's the output folder and overwrite existing files and bake. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks actually better than uh, when I did it the first time. Anyway, I would like to show some other things. Sometimes when you get bad seams, you know, it might be necessary system preferences, final render, that you play around with the bake UV border size. Uh, I think three is the default. You can go down to zero, which I would not recommend, or up to six, which helps sometimes. I try it with three and when uh, I get good results, then I leave it there. Okay, next we bake out the normal map. So normal bake. Okay, and now we can assign these materials. So select our low poly flashlight material, add layer, load image and load the diff use color first. Let's see how this looks. That looks great. And then we do another add layer, load image and this time uh, the normals. Open and we change the fuse color to normal and now we are done here um, and that looks pretty good and we have let me check 322 polygons which is pretty low poly okay uh, by the way I increase the size of the initial or the normal flashlight model by a factor of five otherwise it is just tiny in Unreal Engine. So here uh, I select these two and go to properties and here Tangent vector type is cross product. And the last thing before the FBX export is to go to vertex map, create MIC tangent. Doesn't work because we have not selected the item here. So vertex map create MIC tangent. And now everything is done and we can FBX export this. So export as uh, Autodesk FBX 213. Save. And we can now switch to Unreal and import it. Open and make sure we do not uh, allow to generate lighting map UVs because we have done import materials and textures and import. And our flashlight is here and I can drag it out 
and this is how it looks in uh, the Unreal Engine. I think it looks pretty well. Yes. And we can also um, you see it also has created a collision cage. I think this is something I will do in my next videos, how to import custom collision meshes. And the default of the light map resolution is 64, but if you look at other models which are supplied with the Unreal Engine, you will see most have 128 and I think it looks a bit better. It's not a big difference, but it looks a bit better. So that was it for today. Uh, I hope you found this uh, useful. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.